Hi, I'm Mark Littler and I'm an independent antiques consultant and whiskey broker and I'd just like to share my thoughts with you as to why I think bottles of whiskey should be featured on the Antiques Roadshow. I think the first point to address is that whether or not bottles of whiskey are in fact collector's items like many of the other items that are featured on the Antiques Roadshow or whether it's mainly just a drink. A good starting point in addressing this question would be to compare bottles of whiskey to another comparable product such as bottles of wine. Now I think there are a few fundamental differences between bottles of whiskey and bottles of wine and the most important being in the way that value is constructed in both of these bottles. With wine the value of a bottle increases after it is opened and a critic criticizes the contents and either gives it a high rating or a low rating. However, this is not the case with whiskey. Whiskey is not so much about the quality of the whiskey that's inside the bottle, it's more to do with the bottle and the whiskey as a whole and the perceived scarcity of the entire package. A good way to illustrate this point would be to take a look at these three bottles of Lefroy 10 year old. Now outwardly, they all look very similar. They all contain 10 year old single malt whiskey that was distilled at the Laphroaig distillery. However, the values of these bottles vary significantly. The first bottle is this 10 year old bottle that was bottled in the 1990s. It looks very similar to the bottles that you have in your house today. And it's also very similar to the bottles that are on the supermarket shelves. And it's worth around 50 to 70 pounds. Now, if we go back to a bottling that was bottled 10 years earlier in the 1980s, like this bottle was, the value of this bottle is worth around a thousand pounds, even though it still contains the same 10 year old single malt whiskey distilled at exactly the same distillery. And to take this point a little bit further, we've got a bottle here from the 1970s. And now again, 10 year old single malt whiskey distilled at the Lefroy distillery, but worth in the region of three to four thousand pounds. So if the value of whiskey was constructed in the same way that the value of wine was constructed, then there would be no difference in value between these bottles because it all contains exactly the same product. But with bottles of whiskey, it's as much to do with changes in label design and scarcity of a bottle than it is about the product that's inside the bottle itself. A good comparison with a bottle of whiskey would be to compare it to something else that features regularly on the Antiques Roadshow of a similar age, such as dinky toys or any other toys. Now, the value of a dinky toy is not directly proportionate to how well that car brums along the floor or entertains a child, as its original intention was meant to be. It's more about how scarce that particular model is and whether it still have, has factors such as its original box with it. And that's exactly the same with whiskey. It's not about how good this whiskey tastes, it's about how scarce this bottling is and how it fits in line with other bottles from the same distillery. More evidence to suggest that whiskey is now considered a collector's item rather than just being a drink can be found in the fact that it featured in the Knight Frank Luxury Investment Index in 2018 for the first time. Not only was it the first time that it featured in the index, but it also outstripped all of the other items that feature in that index, such as paintings, furniture, jewelry, works of art, coins and stamps. One of the main reasons that whiskey was featured in the Knight Frank Luxury Investment Index was the way that the market has changed and it's changed dramatically in a very short period of time. If we go back to just January 2018, the world record price for a single bottle of whiskey was just 460,000 pounds. Yet that record's been broken several times in the interim period to where we are now, and it currently stands at 1.5 million pounds for a single bottle. Another reason why I think it would be great to feature bottles of whiskey on the Antiques Roadshow is that it would genuinely lead to more Antiques Roadshow moments where the owner is genuinely surprised at the value of their item. Now you don't have to look at vintage bottles to get that shock and awe like with we found with that 1970s bottle of Laphroaig. If you look at bottles that were released in the 1990s, so for instance, Macallan Private Eye was released in 1996 at just 36 pounds a bottle, but is worth now between three and 4,000 pounds a bottle. And Black Bowmore was originally released in 1993 with a recommended retail price of 80 pounds, but is now worth between 10 and 20,000 pounds. I think it's important to address whether featuring bottles of whiskey on the Antiques Roadshow would be akin to condoning uh, the consumption of alcohol 
by simply showing the bottle, but I genuinely don't think this is the case. And it's, and it's exactly the same reason that you don't condone acts of war or murder when you feature arms and armor on the Antiques Roadshow because these are collector's items. In the same way that if you feature bottles of whiskey, you're not condoning the consumption of alcohol because these bottles are collector's items as well. So in summary, I think that bottles of whiskey would make a great additional feature on the Antiques Roadshow because they are now considered a collector's item. They're not, it's not just merely a drink, it's about the bottle, it's about everything as a whole, much in the same way that all of the other items that feature on the Antiques Roadshow are not about their original purpose, it's about how they're collected now. And because the market is so young and still in its infancy, there's gonna be very little broad knowledge with your viewers about the values of their bottles of whiskey. So this is gonna to lead to more Antiques Roadshow moments where the owner is genuinely surprised and shocked at the value of their bottles. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you've got any questions, I'd love to hear from you. My email address is mark at marklittler.com.